Yeah! Hey everybody, it's the program. Here we are on TV. Uh, once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines and live forever. It's happening. I'm alive. Are you alive, viewers? I hope so. And I hope that, uh, you know, I hope things. You ever had a hope? I don't know if I do. I don't know if I have a hope or not. What is a hope? Do I really hope things? You start saying just like people start saying that they hope for things. Even I don't think they do. So I don't even know if I do. I hope you do do well. It's like, do you? And what is that going to do? Why you, would you even say that you hope for stuff? <laughs> Gotta hold on to hope. You should like say, "I believe you're going to do well." Like I, I think it's gonna happen. I predict. I predict you're gonna do well. Maybe hoping, just wishing and hoping, and uh, wishing and hoping, dreaming stuff. It's like, oh, I hope I do good. It's like that's not gonna do. How about you uh, instead of hoping, can. Uh, you know, try or work work at something. It's like don't don't hope, prepare. I think that's what it should be. It's like I hope you pre I hope you prepare. That's something. Like, I hope you prepare because if you don't, it's dumb. So you can prepare for things, or you can hope. Like blind hope, maybe. That's the if thing. Not blind hope. Like hope with uh, sights, sighted hope. Look, I see, I believe that is gonna happen. I see it. I foresee this. Like if you continue to do your trajectory, trajectory if you have too much hope, and you're not even gonna try. You're just gonna lean on hope. You can't just lean on hope by itself. Uh, well, it's nighttime. Late night. What are we gonna do? Who's gonna be around to answer the phone at this hour? Maybe John Webster. I don't know if it's too late for him. Or Grandma. Maybe we should kick it off with the phone. And look at a lot of that, those messages from the thing. Those people are still upset about the website. And they're sending us emails every day about it. Some people call Freddy. Freddy and uh, others. Here's Freddy. Well, maybe don't call this number. Call the 609 number. That's the thing. Oh, well, Freddy, you in there? No, the 609 air number, maybe you called in this way. So these are all outgoing. These are all the outgoing. Whoa, where's the incoming? Out, out, out. In, in, in. I'm not seeing the, the any of the, the 609 air or numbers though, Freddy. When was the last time you called? There's got to be a mixed one. Here it is. I found it. Let's see if this one works better than the other one. Or if it's going to be the same uh, message machine. Maybe it's going to be the other one. Please leave your message oh. for Frederick Dobliss. Hey, thanks for the program. You awake? Uh, 
How are you? And it's nighttime, and they keep emailing about those uh, the the website. They they they're upset about the website. They want a dollar, like two dollars, to continue it, and they're not getting over it. So maybe I'll go check it out. Okay, bye. All right. Well, let's see. Look at a little bit of this. Uh, Let's see, where is it? No, a twister. Should be the one that's labeled Messages of the Future. Or no, it's it's the one with the star on it. It's Eraser. That's the one that I want to look at. Called Eraser. Oh, it's in, it's in there. It's this one. Hey, future. It's us, the past. What do you have to say to the past? Um, like, I don't know. I. Uh, Bella's here, and it's Monday. And uh, cha is it? What's different about yesterday than today? Okay, bye. Hey, future, it's us, the past. We are in charge. Uh, we're here in Tuesday, the twenty seventh, Freddie. Like messed up his ankle jumping down the stairs today. He, you know, we don't know what it's gonna be like. So how's his ankle now? Uh, how are you? I'm, I'm fine. So. Bye. Hey, yeah. Hey, future. It's us. The past. Hey, future. I'm on the phone. I, uh, I was running down the stairs and I stepped on the last day and I twisted my ankle and it, uh, it's, I'm, I'm basically laid up in bed, but I didn't break my ankle, so no broken bones, but kind of slow down at the, maybe future, maybe you need to think about, like, why are you running so fast, why are you moving so fast, maybe you could slow down and still get the same amount of things done, you know, like, running down the stairs doesn't really save that much time from walking down the stairs. Bye, future. Hey, future, it's us, the past. It's Thursday and it's nighttime, even though we did most of the show during the daytime. There was a gas leak. It caused the power to go out here at the studio. We're supposed to be on the grid, but it went out. So I remember this gas leak. Today. On Thursday, bye, future, or bye, past, bye. Bye. Oh. Hey, future. It's us, the past. Oh, hey. What do you have to say to the future? Well, we're in the march already, huh? We love you. We hope you do well. Consume mass quantities. No more hoping. Obey. How's your foot, Freddy, in the future? <laughs> Bye. I, I love you and hoping things are not helpful. Messages. Maybe we've got a good heart with that stuff, but... Love it, Moon. Bingo's getting a little bit better. Now it's bruised a little bit. He's got to do the race method. Um, as you can see, we're upset about things. We're back in the studio. It feels good to be back in your corner. Bye. Bye. Hey, future. It's us, the past, again. All right, we're well, still on this alternate tape today. Call Grandma. Before it's too late, I think you're going to bed real soon. She awake? Yeah. You awake, Grandma? Yeah. How are you? I right, good. How are you? I'm okay. I watch the TV. Yeah, getting ready to go to bed. Huh? Getting to go to bed soon, huh? Yeah. You uh? So you, talk, you talk to Andrew here. Well, hold on. Are you drinking water? Huh? You drinking water? Yeah, I took it. I I drink now. 
You gotta get a, a glass you can take it with you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I drink it out. Good. So don't worry about it, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, here. Andrew? Yep. Hello, Andrew. What, what, what did you eat those T-bone steaks? What? When did you eat T-bone steaks? Was that yesterday? Why? Because we ate steaks today. Yeah? We went to Outback. Yeah? When did you eat the T-bone steaks? Oh, yeah, I talked to you when I made that. Yeah. Um, I don't know, last week sometime. Last week? It wasn't just like two days ago? Yeah, but how do you know? <laughs> what did you eat to make today? I didn't make anything today. You know, what did you eat for dinner? I went to Burger King. Which one? By by Safeway over there on Yom Highway in College? Yeah. What well, do you I'm say, if Grandma told you if Grandma told you that she ate steak sometime recently, she doesn't know she doesn't know anything. She well, doesn't know anything. No. Grandma know nothing. She doesn't remember. What um what's the uh what what do you get at Burger King? Uh stuff up the dorm in there. Well what? Uh double cheeseburger. I like Whopper Junior. You get the Whopper Junior? It's a little bit more, but I think it's worth it. It's like two twenty-five or something. Yeah. And you get the lettuce. The lettuce and the oh. tomato, I think, is good. You like that? I think it's good for Burger King. McDonald's, McDonald's not so much, but Burger King is better with that stuff. Yeah. It, really, it adds it together. I think, I'm pretty sure that Burger King uses more chemicals than McDonald's, you know? Burger King tastes like crazy. That's what I'm saying. To get that, that weird barbecue, like, boiled flavor. Yeah, there's probably a lot of liquid smoke. Yeah, I don't think it's fire. They should just use, they should just use real fire and just toast them, you know? I think they do use fire, too. <laughs> That's what they say in the commercials, but I don't really trust it. I think it's just, uh... No, they have a, they do, they have a machine. Some kind of burger fry, or a toaster thing? They don't have a grill. They really don't? It's not a grill, it's a flame, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's actually easier. It probably is, it probably looks like some kind of like weird pizza oven type deal. Yeah, that's what it is. Have, have you seen like Mad Men? Mad Men, yeah. You know, you know how they say when they're doing the Lucky Strike cigarettes? It's the very first episode. It's the only one I watched, really. Right? You know? No, I don't, I don't actually watch that show. You ever seen the first episode, though? No. And then they're making the Lucky Strike cigarettes. And then no. the guy, he says, Let me tell you about how we make Lucky Strike cigarettes. Or he's like, Tell me about how you make them. Right to the guy, to the he's like the ad agency guy, and he's like talking to the owner of the company. Mm -hmm. And he says, like, how do you make the cigarettes? First of all, and he says, well, we we grow tobacco, mm -hmm. and or we buy the tobacco from a farmer or something, and mm -hmm. then and then we uh, we we put the tobacco in the the, the in, we put it into the papers, and then we toast them. And he goes, oh, oh wait, 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 what else? He's like, we toast them. And he's like, you toast them? And he's like, well, yeah, but every, everybody toasts them. Every cigarette company, they all toast them. And he says, it doesn't matter. He just says, this is what they call it. You say, it's toasted. It's toasted. So then they say, it's toasted. That's like their, their brand. But everybody yeah. toasts it. Yeah, that's, a, that's some good advertising there. That's what they do on that show. They, it's advertising. Yeah, so what you do... You get a thing that everybody does, but you say you do it, and then it seems like everybody else doesn't do it. Well, that's like one one trick you can do. Well, yeah. probably a lot of different tricks. But you say like, no, there's no uh, uh, rat rat turds. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That kind of thing. Then you're implying that everybody else has rat turds. Yeah, kids love it. Burgers. Kids love hamburgers. But it flips, so they put the hamburger in the machine, and all this is like a fire machine, and then it goes through the conveyor belt, and you don't have to like train a kid to flip burgers. Oh, well, 
that's actually like unique, I guess. You know. So they're trying to, but I think maybe it's like a, a process that's like automated and easy, but they try to make it a good the good thing. What? It's like not necessarily a good thing, but they say it's a good thing, and like, look, it's good. Oh yeah, well no, but the whole thing about the boiled burgers is that it makes it taste different than the way they said that. Yeah, they see, they seem to be saying that the way they make it makes the burger better, but it just makes it a different flavor. It's different. I think it's good. It's I like them all. Different. Yeah, I used to like Burger King way more. It used to be my favorite one. Uh huh. But I think you can get burnt out on Burger King faster than other ones for some reason. Well, it's like between Burger King, Wendy's, and McDonald's, which are the three main ones around here. There's also Sonic. I don't like Sonic. Sonic's like out for sure. Yeah. Uh, Sonic. I, I like Jack in the Box. I used to eat a whole lot of right. Jack in the Box all the time. Yeah, I don't like Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box is, is bottom tier to me also. Yeah, because in Ellensburg, there's a, uh, a Jack in the Box that's, like, the closest to the college. Yeah. And that's the closest, and, like, the, the Wendy's and the McDonald's are all the way on the other side of town, so I never ate that, really. Oh, they didn't even have one? They should have built, that's like a, they got yeah, a... They had, they had one, but it wasn't very close. So also, uh, uh, Jack in the Box has reliable, cheap prices. It's always really cheap. Other, yeah. Sometimes McDonald's can be expensive. I don't like Jack in the Box, though. I, don't, I I try not to go there. I, I much rather go to. Make, I haven't. I don't remember the last time I went to Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. Uh, they have. I don't know. They have some of those. It's like uh, the Jumbo Jack. The Jumbo Jack's pretty good. Yeah, but it seems like for some reason Jack in the Box seems like it's like way worse than McDonald's. Because it's because of that E. Coli scare that happened in the nineties. No, that's not why. No, not for me. I just just don't. I don't don't like it. I guess. Seems weird. It just seems like shady, and weird. It's weird. Yeah, it seems kind of weird. And the thing about Carl's Jr. seems weird too. Yeah, Carl Jr. is weird too. I forgot about Carl's Jr. I don't really like that one either. I think it's yeah, definitely it's know. it's definitely McDonald's and Burger King and Wendy's as far as burgers go. Like top three for sure, one hundred percent. Yeah, I think Wendy's is probably the best one because it tastes the most like uh, I think like a well, like a mom and pop type place. Between but I think that's what he's going for though. Yeah, between between Burger King, McDonald's, and Wendy's, I think you have to change it up. Yeah, I think it's true too. Like you can pick those three as the top three, but yeah. you, you go to different ones. Yeah, if you, if you switch it up, then you're always craving one of them. But if you keep going to the same one over and over again, you know, it gets real bad. Yeah. Really stale. Really, really fast. Well, I don't know. I eat Burger King. <laughs> I eat Burger King like four, four or five days a week. That's a lot. I think you actually might love Burger King or something. But I only get one thing. I get the Whopper Junior. I just get a Whopper Junior in the morning for breakfast. I eat Whopper Junior for breakfast about four or five days a week. Have you, have you ever ordered a bunch of stuff off the dollar menu and then you think about it and you're like, wait, I just ordered a kid's meal? Uh, well, I never get the drinks. Then have you ever ordered a bunch of stuff off the dollar menu and said, man, I just got a kid's meal, but I didn't even get the drink? Oh, and that's just fries and a burger. Yeah, because you're a giant child. Yeah, well, I get the double burgers, though. Are you a mighty kid? Or a big kid? Yeah, I think the I get the mighty kid meal if 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 it's uh, anything. Yeah, me too. That's why I get. That. We're just big kids. Yeah. Well, or those mighty kids are fat. Yeah, they don't want to call them fat kids. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that kid is <laughs> mighty. That's what yeah, you say. That's what that. That's what you say. That's when your, uh, your teacher. You you're a teacher. And this kid is like really fat, and it's obvious that the parent is just like stuffing his face all the time, and you probably shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. And you're like trying to tell the, your, the parents, you know, to say, your kid's a fat ass. It's a fat ass, yeah. He's a little Being fat, a, fat a little ass. fatty. And you so say, my, my coworker is telling me today how he's like, oh, I went to Burger King, and they have this deal where you can get, t it's two for ten. And I was like, what are you buying that costs fucking ten dollars? Yeah. Burger and he said it was, uh, he got two 
Valley meals for ten dollars, basically. And then I didn't ask him if he ate them all at once, like a fat ass. Is he fat? He's a, little, he's a like a little bit chunky, but not like not like huge. But he's just kind of fat. Yeah. I don't know. That's the thing about about fast food is that it's not bad that bad for you if you only eat a little bit. Yeah, the guy he got two value menu value meals, which means that he got two like large size sodas. Yeah. <laughs> the sodas is where you're doing it, but it's just like you're just eating too much in general. It's like not even what you eat. It's like about how much you're eating of it. Yeah, no, it, it is about what you eat. Like the the guy on um, Super Size Me, not the main guy, but the the, the guy he interviewed, that dude who ate a Big Mac. He probably still does it. He eats a Big Mac every day. Yeah. Uh, and he's not fat. But the secret is, don't eat French fries or drink that fucking soda because soda just, is really bad for you. It's really the soda. So, yeah, it's, it's probably, it's like 75 sodas fall and the rest is... Oh, yeah. I actually don't even eat uh, fries. I don't really eat fries either, so maybe it's that. I only I, eat a... I really, yeah, I really like French fries, but they're both unhealthy and expensive. They're so expensive. Yeah, you, you're actually, it's probably more nutritious to buy two hamburgers, and it's cheaper. That's where they get you, though. They want you to, they, they, they make the hamburgers, even though the hamburgers cost more for them to make. They, yeah, they like put it, they, yeah. they put it cheaper so that, because they think that you're going to buy fries and soda. Because fries and soda yeah. is like, um, is like next to free for them. It's super cheap for them. Yeah, it is basically free. Like, once you realize that uh, 10 pounds of potatoes cost like $2. Yeah. Uh... It kind of hurts your head a little bit, and so like think about that. Well, why, why does it cost so much? But I was actually talking about this with uh, my friend yeah. the other day, and the, the answer is because people will buy it. Yeah, they buy it and they want it. So then you go there and you, because they get lured in by the cheap burgers. Exactly. And then you get the fries and the soda. Yeah. Yeah. Then you're already there, and then you're like, well, I can't just not get a soda or whatever. Yeah. And soda's real bad. It makes you feel bad. It makes you feel bad, yeah. Um, and, like, McDonald's does the uh, $1 for any size thing. Yeah, that's too much. It is too much, yeah. So uh, Sometimes I just want a small. You know, like, you want a large for the same price? And I'm like, uh, I guess. But then you throw it away, most of it away, right? You drink it all anyway. Yeah, yeah. But some, most people are like, oh, I guess. And then they go and they get the large, right? And then they fill it to the top and then drink it and then drink another one or something. Well, hey, yeah, more than one soda. Are you, are you drinking soda? Or are you drinking mostly water? Mostly water. I, I just drink a beer, but mostly water. Beer is pretty watery. Yeah, I, Dad said Dad said that Diet Coke is really bad because it has acid in it. It's not just sugar. Yeah. And I said, does beer have acid in it? He said no. So I think beer. I think beer is better than soda for yeah. sure. Oh, it is. It actually has protein in it. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I would believe that. We were talking about this with your friend Ed. Oh, yeah. But if you drink, like, enough beers that you could die. That's true. Well, actually, I think if you, if you drink, like, I think if you drink as much beer as you would die, and I think if you drink that much soda, I think you might die. That much soda? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't really, like, shotgun... Because if you drink, like if you drink, like, how many beers would it take to die? Like, probably, uh, like... One, one time I was hanging out with Sean Nido and a bunch of his, like, straight-edge friends, and they were like, let's pound some Mountain Dews! And they were like, they're shotgunning Mountain Dews. Oh, no, that's awful. <laughs> so bad. Did they get sick? Uh, I don't know. They, they didn't, like, they didn't kill a case or something. Yeah, yeah you know? he, he didn't, didn't really work out for him. The whole straight edge thing. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that guy. He's uh, not he, very smart. I don't know well, that. he's I not. He's he's, he's not a smart. drunk. Sean Nido? Yeah. He's a drunk. He's drunk and crazy now. What? Really? Where is he? Live? Where is he? I don't know. I see him at the bar sometimes. You see this? He's as drunk as hell. And worse. I heard he got he got in, he got in some trouble. Probably not the best to be talking about specific people like this, but I don't think he'll be. I don't think he, I'm not worried about it. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
He's drunk as hell and and making crazy stuff. And I remember. He got into legal trouble, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know legal trouble, but at least like social trouble. Uh oh. Like he's just like getting too crazy and then getting being mean. You know, he's kind of mean. And then he's getting drunk. Yeah. He's getting extra mean. He's like mean and like uh, judgy. Yeah. So then he's getting really drunk. Uh, yeah. He used to be so uh, straight edge, and then people—I think people that yeah. are straight edge—they get too drunk, right? Because they flip real hard. Yeah, you should just uh, not be straight edge and like test out your uh, youth. You know. Yeah. Well, if have you fun, it, have fun while you can. You get crazy. If you get too crazy, though, because then you're like, well, if I'm not gonna be straight edge, I'm gonna be insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like live, live your life. And don't, don't have a, it's, it's not black or white. Yeah. It's not black or white. Well, yeah. Yeah. Are you colors? Yeah. Paint, paint. I think Joe Rogan says everything in moderation, even moderation. Moderation in moderation? Yeah. Well, if you have moderation in moderation, it's no longer moderation, is it? Yeah, well, I think it's said don't, don't obsess over things. Yeah, I think moderation, like period. Why not that? Why not just that? Yeah, I don't know what he's trying to say there. Maybe he's trying to say that people people take any any kind of idea and just go with that like, run with it or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, well, uh, don't get too crazy about something like some, but. How many so how many beers would it take to kill you? Like, like thirty. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. I I feel like I think you're right with the soda thing. You probably probably get sick either way. Well, if you can and drink. I don't know. It it would, it would take like a, a professional drinker to like drink to death, drink beer to death before they pass out, kind of deal, or like throw up. Yeah. They would probably throw up everywhere. I think you would throw up. The grandma's still awake. Whoa! Oh, what is that? Yeah. What was that? So what was that sound? Feedback. Oh. You want a speakerphone? Yeah. Basically, uh, Ed told me about how, how many uh, beers my friend used to drink all the time. Who? Ed? Yeah, it was Ed. It was my neighbor, and Ed was my neighbor at one point, too, and we'd all hang out at my friend's house. And just uh, drink beer every day. <laughs> yeah. Thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty lack of uh, Keystone Light, Keystone Ice, or uh, what else do you drink? I forgot. That's pretty much it. Keystone. Is Keystone Ice even technically beer? I don't know. It's really gross. Keystone Ice is disgusting. They call it ice. I think if it's like called ice, it's not even really beer. Yeah, I don't know what that means. It just means shit. Isn't it's it like it's, like it's like watered down malt liquor? Yeah. Oh, I I, I know what it means. It, um, it's like extra extra cold brew, just like that. Like lagers are supposed to be lagers are supposed to be hard to brew because you have to brew them at like a really cold temperature. Uh huh. Like normal Budweiser or whatever, or like other shitty beers, you know? Yeah. Um, and then they, whatever ice is, it's like even colder, you have to, you have to make it. Right. But it's weird though, because like the, all like the good craft beers, good night. The, the good craft beers and all that, you, you know, like it's easier, it's easier to brew those good craft like flavored beers or whatever than it is to brew the shitty beer. It's harder to brew shitty beer than good beer. It's probably harder to make like a ton of it though. Oh, uh, the good beer? Yeah. It's either harder or people do, people just like the pale ale more or whatever it is. They like the ice? People like lagers. No, people like lagers more. It's America's beer. Well, it seems Lagers like are easy. people like to pound beer. Yeah, Lagers are, are the easiest beer to shotgun and like chug and shit. Those flavored beers, yeah, you, I don't, you, can, you can't just pound those. They're too, it's too much. 
Yeah, like an IPA or a dark beer or whatever. You'd get this, yeah, like, yeah. Su too much sugar. Too much sugar, yeah, or it's, like, too much flavor. It's, like, too, uh, hoppy. Yeah. No? yeah. Too much hops. Too bitter. Yeah, you gotta chug it. If you want to chug it, you gotta be light beer. Yeah. Gonna you go shot? You're not gonna go shotgun some, uh, like um, like a uh, fancy beer, you know, like some big, like Bigfoot, Bigfoot third generation Ohio Ohio brand. I don't know what they call. Yeah. Some dark beer, some stout. You don't shotgun a stout. You gotta shotgun a um. Or a porter. Don't shotgun a porter or a stout or an IPA or uh, anything. Only only pretty much shotgun. A lager, or a pale ale. I don't think uh, you should shotgun anything. <laughs> don't what? shotgun anything. Yeah, why? What's the point of shotgunning? If you want to drink, if you want to, if you like really, really want to get drunk, uh, yeah, drink some booze. Drink some booze. Yeah, that's true too. Like, why are you drinking like so many, so much beer unless you want to just like drink yeah. it? Well, just drink I think, it. I think People probably say that, like, oh, I can't drink booze. It gets me sick. So if they want to drink as much of whatever they can to get them real fucked up. And, I, like, I can't drink liquor. I can drink 30 beer. I'm mean, here, five beers in a, in a row. Hey, yeah, we're, exactly. we're, we're getting a call on the other line. Maybe I'll call you back, okay? That's pretty much what I just said. All right, goodbye. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hey, hey Freddie. Hey, Freddie, how are you? Mm, doing good. Good. I had a little cold. I'm pretty much over it. Oh. Um, made some crazy ginger soup. I'm eating some right now. It's like so gingery. It's like a soup, but I put like a whole bunch of ginger in it. What else? What else? Broth? Uh, no, it's pretty, you know, I had a, some yam, other vegetables in there. Uh-huh. So what? Water, ginger, yams. Hello. Hey, program, are you still there? Oh yes, hello. Yeah, I don't know. Somehow I like dialed some other number. Huh. Uh. Oh, um, that was weird. Water, ginger, sudden, yams. Yeah, ginger, yams, and like onion. Mm -hmm. Uh. Uh, cucumber, no, zucchini, mm. uh, bunch of stuff. Hot cucumbers would be weird. Tons you, of things. Have you ever had hot cucumbers? Huh? Have you ever had hot cucumbers? No, I've never had hot cucumbers. Me neither, it seems awful. Yeah, I, was, I meant to say zucchini. Mm hmm Zucchini, have you, ever, have you ever had cold zucchini? Yes. Yeah, how's that? Wait, no, I guess not. Like, maybe once it's been cooked and then cooled down. I don't know if you could eat it with raw zucchini. It's weird that they are so similar. They seem so much like the same thing, but they're really quite different. They look the same, but they're yeah, not they the, the same, same, just on the outside. I don't know what a cucumber even is. Yeah, have you seen pickled pickled cucumbers or pickling cucumbers? Yeah, I pickled some. But they look like pickles already, um, mm -hmm. like before you put them in there. They're small pickles. They're I always, small cucumbers. I always thought that like you put a cucumber in the in the vinegar or whatever, and then it gets all those bumps somehow. No. Yeah. No, no. And like it develops the bumps, so it's kind of weird that it's like that. It already has the bumps. Yeah. Actually, that's how you can tell zucchinis and cucumbers apart pretty well. I've heard. Cucumbers are bumpy. Yeah, cucumbers are bumpy. Are zucchinis they? The, are not bumpy. They're the big ones are bumpy too. The cucumbers. There are bumps on them, yeah. I've definitely seen them huh. be bumpier. Yeah. Uh, so it's a vegetable soup. Vegetable. Oh, yeah. Other vegetables. It's pretty much just vegetables. Yeah. Uh, okay, here's the part that's really the most important part for me, though. Um, I cooked it all up in a pan, and then I moved it into a pot and boiled it in some chicken broth. Um... Like add garlic too in there, uh, and then the most important part had to do with the blender at the end. 
Mm -hmm. At the end, you get a blender and you blend some of the ingredients. You blend all the vegetables up, like half of the soup. Yeah. And then you pour it back into the bowl, the thing, and then um, and so then it's really kind of a smooth soup. Oh yeah. So then but, you have the chunks. Yeah, you get also. some chunks, but not as many chunks. It's it's like a savory smoothie. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking too loud. Oh. <laughs> sorry, I didn't realize there's people sleeping in the house. Oh, it's I mean it's moderately early to me. Uh. <laughs> that's true, but there's been a cold going around, you know. Oh I'm just, no, that's I'm talking loud. Share your. I used to talking loud on the program. You gotta share your smoothie. Huh? You gotta share your soup. Oh yeah, everyone, everyone needs to hear about this soup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shut, shut up! Shut up about the soup. <laughs> They're like They're yelling. Yeah, <laughs> they're sick. They're sick in the room, and you're just like <laughs> describing the soup. They're like, well, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> you gotta try this. <laughs> why, why, why would you tell somebody about soup on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Whoops. Um. Anyway. What kind of blender is it? Oh, it's an old one. It's a. Uh... What was it? It's like the, um, it's got a cool name. It's like... Blendo. Oh, no. I can't remember now the name, but it's really old blender. And the problem with it is that, um, when you... <laughs> I'm making all this noise. <laughs> I can't help it. I guess I'm not just making all this noise. Has knocked over a bunch of stuff. Um, anyway, the problem with the blender was that every time you uh, started up, it like sprayed it just sprayed through the lid. Like what? Because the, like the lid didn't have a solid seal between like for some reason it's got a spot where you can like put a spatula in or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it wasn't it all the way like a good connection mm -hmm. so the like the soup would shoot out and it was so hot and it burned my hand <laughs> but it's only a little bit at the first at like every time you turn the blender on the first time it's like goes really fast at the beginning and it shoots stuff up and then it like calms down a little bit well it's still like that or you fix it nope it's still like that well, it's good. I think it's just old yeah I just put like uh, put something over it. Like, <laughs> yeah, the lowest setting is still pretty hot. Fast. But it, just put like a bowl, put a bowl like over it, so that way when it shoots out, it'll hit the bowl only. That's a good idea. Just thought of that. <laughs> this is a burn every time. Yeah, I just got. Well, I only I only had to do it twice, but yeah, I definitely got burned both times. That's too. That's one too many times to me. Yeah, I guess. I don't know what I was expecting the second time. Did you remember about the burning, or did you just completely forget about it the second time? No, I did it in pretty quick succession, so I definitely remembered, but maybe I just was like... Maybe burn... inevitable. I have no other options. Maybe burn is a little uh, extreme of a word? Or is it a burn? Like a real burn? It's like maybe it won't happen this time. Like, <laughs> yeah. Did you did, did you get like actually burned or was it just like uncomfortably hot? Uncomfortably hot. Yeah. Well, that was not too bad. Yeah. But if it was like an actual like like, like burn, then and you did it twice. That would be insane. Mm. Hey, how many? Yeah. The thing about making mm -hmm. soup that um, you blend, you know, most soup has like chunks in it. It has some chunks, but it's very soft. Um, and it makes me really want, like, a piece of bread or something. Like, um, yeah. kind of, like, harder thing. You don't have any bread? No. Yeah, I got some bread. I'm eating it with bread now. Oh, yeah. That's good. To toast or just bread? Toast. Mmm. What kind of toast you got? 
I'm gonna bed pedal some kind of. I don't know. The toaster's from the pedal. It's from the bread. The toaster is from the bread peddler. What? The, what kind of toaster? Uh, I'm toasting it myself. In a, in a toaster though, right? It's not toasted. It's not pre-toasted. But you, you got a toaster? Oh yeah, toaster. You have a toaster oven or one of the push-down ones? It's a toaster, regular toaster. It's Sunbeam, Sun, Sunbeam brand. Sunbeam. Like dollar store brand. Sunbeam, like a dollar, like a dollar store toaster? I doubt it. I'm not sure where it came from, but I've seen other things with the Sunbeam brand. But the Sunbeam, Sunbeam brand is the brand that like the, the batteries, bat the batteries, right? Is it the same? Is it actually like similar looking brand name, or is it just the same name? Oh yeah, the logo is identical. It's like a cursive, hmm. like Sunbeam written out with like a little. You know, curved line above the top, top yeah. like connecting the S to the M. I didn't know they make anything other than uh, batteries at the dollar store. I think I've seen other things too. Like there's this toaster, although it looks like the toaster is melted, like on the top. Like, like I think the plastic is touching the metal too close, and the whole white plastic around the top is like a little melty. It, mel it melted itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, melting itself. There's other things too. I've I've seen other Sunbeam brand things. What? But I can't remember what mm. they are. I don't think I've ever seen anything else. I wonder who like they make those batteries and they like somehow make them like shitty. <laughs> yeah, they don't seem to la like hold as much as maybe other batteries. Like, I, I don't know, batteries, like, work with, like, chemicals or something, but I don't know if they put, like, less in there. Oh, yeah. Less, chem less battery chemical? Yeah. It's just, like, mostly just, like, hollow or something. I don't know. I thought batteries were pretty solid, but I guess I've never cracked one open because I've heard it's poison. Uh, you think but they're not, they're not liquid? I thought it was liquid. Is it battery acid? Mmm. There's acid in them. But well, then it runs out. You know, car batteries just they got liquid right inside of them too. You can like there's like re liquid reservoirs. You look in there, and sometimes there's not enough liquid. You could put more liquid and in you there. Yeah, put more liquid in there. You can get, you put like battery acid in there. I don't know. I thought you just put water in there. In the battery? Mm-hmm. Really, water in a battery? I think it turns into acid, or I don't know. Maybe it's really acidic. It's just like watering down the acid that's already there a little bit. I'm not sure. Like ac maybe maybe acid is like a powder or something. Mm. Yeah, it is. Mm. Um, it can powderize. Maybe it needs to be water. Cause water is like the most not acid or base. There's like acids and bases. And then like people, that's not true. Like water is not always neutral. I guess you know people are doing those like things where they make water that has specific pHs. Yeah. Is it still water, though? Yeah, I think it's still water. It's not just, like, water with other stuff in it? Well, what about, like, water that has trace minerals in it, like your tap water, you know? That water? Yeah. It's, like, it's all that other stuff. stuff. In it, like, calcium? Yeah, calcium is, like, a base, right? It makes it a base, more base. Maybe. Like, hard water? Seems like if it's like if it's water is neutral, and if it's like non-neutral, then it's not just water. Yeah, like it's got to be some contaminants or something. I don't know. Like, I'm not really sure what pH is. It's like acid and but base. You're right, because it's like, are they adding something or to make it more base or more acidic? I don't know, but I don't like, acid. Can water yeah. be anything other than water, right? Bleach, bleach. Is that what you're saying? Bleach is really, really base. Hmm. That's true. Yeah. And then it seems like it's like the opposite. It's like bleach is like the opposite of acid. And like even your like oranges or citrus fruit is like pretty acidic. Yeah. So if you're like, if you're like in the in the jungle, all you have is uh, acid. Put some bleach in there. Mix them together. 
Make water. <laughs> it turns into water. <laughs> well, hey, you know, better than, um, what's the thing called when you, like, you can starve to death. What's it called if you have no water? Uh, dehydration. Is that what they call it? Dehydration to death? Dehydration. Oh, oh, how do you, how do you die from thirst? Die like, of thirst. Die of thirst. There's not a word for it, though, I guess. Like, Starve. It's weird because starvation takes, like, weeks. And then, like, thirst just takes, like, three days or yeah, something. Yeah, and there's no word for dying of thirst. Uh, they just call it dying. You die of thirst. Uh, starving. Because starving doesn't mean you necessarily are dead. Hmm. I guess that's true. Uh, I mean, you could be... Drowning. You, you could Drowning be... Like the opposite. Like, starving has lots of levels because people say they're starving when they haven't eaten in, like, eight hours. Yeah, I've heard people say that they've been electrocuted, too, but that's not true. No, electrocuted means you're dead? Oh, yeah, definitely. You can't be, what happens, or just getting shocked? I think it's just getting shocked, yeah. I think uh, that's what I always heard, thought. I thought electrocuted, like if you're electrocuted, you're no longer alive. To, it seems to me, to me, I think that if you get electrocuted that you could live. <laughs> really? <laughs> Maybe. I feel like I've, because I, 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 I think I've I been... I don't remember looking it up in the dictionary, but... Yeah. But colloquially, anyway, I feel like it, I, I think I've been electrocuted. So I got electrocuted. I don't know why. Yeah, I like, was like, was like the same thing as drowned, you know. But like, drowned is dead, I guess. Well, what happens when you like almost? I guess then you're almost drowned. It's like almost drowning. <laughs> I mean, some people have done that and then like been resuscitated, and I wonder if that counts as being drowned. Yeah. Oh, I don't think it counts as dying, though. I've said this before. People say they're like, I died. You know? And I'm like, no, you <laughs> really? didn't so die. Like you... someone... Yeah. What about what about the like defibrillation or something? Yeah, they say that's like, well, your heart stopped. They're like, my heart stopped and then it started again. And I think if mm. it started again, then you never did die actually. Hmm. Like, you know, in the future if they if they, they can they can save all of our lives in the past. Uh -huh. And it's like nobody has ever died, maybe. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, it doesn't count as dying unless you're dead. For good. Yeah, I think that's probably true. Yeah. And it doesn't count as drowning. Starving, you could be maybe alive. Electrocute. Like, it's got like... A, you know, they say like they're going to... Or no, they say electricity will flow through your body until you are dead. Like, and they're, they're... They're trying to... Uh, <laughs> Who says that? The 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 judges. Oh. They're like sentencing somebody to death by the electric chair, like if, like if, like uh, in like the Green Mile, or uh, uh -huh. there's that movie Shocker, or I think I saw Ted Bundy, Ted Bundy documentary or something. Uh, yeah, they say, I sentence you to to have electricity flow through your body until you are dead, or something. They, they like spell it out like that. They don't just like say electrocuted. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's weird. They I have, didn't know that they like would spell it out so far. Some of like that, that stuff. Yeah, it's like flower, flowery. Uh, the legal words. Yeah. It's very eloquent for such a like dark thing. Yeah, they don't do it anymore. They only lethal injection. <gasps> oh well, I guess I can think about that having like maybe in like the old west or something. Because I've heard, you know, like the, the when they're being hung, they oh, yeah. like, kind of spell it out that way too. Yeah, they're hung, hung by by with the rope by the neck until you are dead. Yeah. Hung by, wow. <laughs> they're like I'm gonna hang you by your rope just for a little bit, and then you, it's not <laughs> good time. Yeah, having it spelled out like that, honestly, oh, like that's creep, that's freakier, you know. Yeah. See what, maybe why they do it. I think it's the only I mean, What's the what's the point of of that, if not to detour others. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I've read a book. I think it's called The Myth of Sis Sisyphus or something like that. Or I don't know. It's all about how most of our um, death penalty stuff doesn't actually do a very good job of like making people not. I mean, of being like, because it's all mostly happens like behind closed doors or whatever or something. I don't know. I heard it's not super effective. Of a deterrent. Well, yeah, I think, 
I don't think that punishment is a deterrent. Yeah. Like, you just don't want to get caught. Yeah, like, totally. You have to... People never think the punishment's going to happen to them, kind of. Yeah. The deterrent, only deterrent like, is, uh, like, uh, personal morals. Yeah. I agree. I and mean, they even put those things up in, like, parking zones where it's like, don't park here for more than 15 minutes. Like... Seven hundred fifty dollar fine. There's one right outside of my place of business. Oh yeah, well that's. And a, I don't think yeah. that that having that fine on there is like doing anything really. Well, you don't want to pay. Nobody wants to pay, but people still park there and like you know risk it. Hmm. Yeah. It's like they they just put a handicap sign there. Oh yeah, I bet well, most people uh, would park there. I guess then the handicap would for mm. sure. The handicap would park there still, though. But, like, who's, nobody's going to park in a handicap spot, though. That would be rude, right? Like, even, like, a criminal. Yeah. Like a, I think people really do um, do that. I mean, it's like a weird human nature thing. They do? Like, they park in the handicap spot? No. Oh, really yeah. Few people do. Yeah, like, not even, like, a, you know, like, a, a awful murderer. But, like, if it says, like, trucks only loading zone, yeah. people park there. Yeah. Well, awful For murder sure. where they would stop them and say, like, what are you, what are you doing? Can you read the sign? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to record a message to the future. Oh, okay. I'm good. Oh, yeah, I got to I'm writing the, the date. I wrote the date on the, on this tape when, on the day it started. Oh, that's a good idea. So that way when it's over and we can finish it up. That's a good idea. I also uh, got some boxes there, and there's a box for the um, for October, which starts tomorrow. Is this only the third? This is only the third mm -hmm. tape, right? Yeah. What? The third that, tape. It's only the about? third. The third messages to the future tape. Oh. Where is it? The second. No one must be the third. No one must be the third. It's the third one. All right. Hey, future. You trust the past. We're. Uh, I'm on the phone. I, this is Freddie. I'm on the phone. Got some boxes. It's almost. Uh, it's the last day of uh, this month, September. Oh yeah. Me and Andrew were talking about how many beers it would take to kill you. Oh yeah. We were talking about whether electrocuting actually means you're dead, and whether are you dead. If you're resuscitated, did you ever die? You never died. Bye, future. Yeah, how many beer? Oh, well, how, how many beers do you think it would take to kill you? Hmm. Man, uh, if I feel like not too many, if there's no like medical intervention, because most of the time when the people like get over over imbibed like they pump their stomachs or something right yeah so like maybe like what 30 30 beers all right that's what i'll say i think that's what the number i said too actually so oh yeah, yeah. that seems about right all right all right uh bye okay. bye bye <laughs> all right let's take a look at this stuff it's us the past you're on a new tape here. We're yeah, on a new, new tape. Um, message to the future tape. We fill up an entire message to the future. The beginning of the tape is on Monday. And we're looking at that old tape again. And I'm writing the day on this one so that we'll know in the future. Setting up systems and living life. Thank you. It's us in the past. Look. It's... Tuesday, and it's the second day of the new tape. We're looking at the old tape a little bit, and we're going to blank out the rest of this one so that we have those days on there. Remember last year, we had things going. Oh, I was looking at January, though, so it's a good day. It's perfect weather. It's the fall, and you know that. You live yeah. In life. You're living your own life. Bye, future. Bye. Tomorrow's one week of this tape. Sure, it's us, the past. 
I put that thing on that tape. You see the dogs? Uh, Bill Oldfond died today, or recently. Oh. Bad news. We're looking at the other tape still. The calls, living the life. I'm alive. Bye. Hey, future. It's us, the past. It's Thursday. And uh, we made it. It's the daytime. I got uh, K Town and Ghost. Sometimes we're ghosts. I'm kind of a ghost. Uh, life. Okay, bye. Go on. Hey, future, it's us in the past. Go ahead, Bath. Hey, Daryl. Always remember to drink lots of water. Yeah. Help. Gil got a haircut. It's Friday. 28. Bye. Bye. This is the timer. Um. Hey. Whatever the fucking real shit fucking hits the fan. Hey, future, it's us the past. What do you have to say to the future? Fucking, I don't know. Um, watch out. Watch your back. Okay. Bye, bye, bye future. Watch my back. Yeah. It's us the past. We're. Uh, I'm on the phone. I, this is Freddie. I'm on the phone. Got some boxes. It's almost uh, the last day of uh, this month, September. Oh yeah. Me and Andrew were talking about how many beers it would take to kill you. Oh yeah, we were talking about whether electrocuting actually means you're dead, and whether are you dead if you're resuscitated? Did you ever die? You never died. Bye, future. Bye. Well, that was it for that, when the show's over. Here, bye. Maybe. Oh, I gotta push in. Thanks for watching. Sunday. We're on TCTV Channel 22, 11, 30, and 2 a.m. Check that out. Yeah, YDHWM.com. Mm -hmm. 360. 836 Call and leave a message. Get on TV. Yeah. One night's day, number three. Check it out. Graham Graham is a good song. Thank you. TCTV, La Bebe, Jordi Fabos, Graham Graham, Self Black, Hondra, Mook, Jefferson County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. And viewers, do you're watching, thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Bye. Yeah.